And good Monday, South Louisiana. Joe DiGregorio, Senior Forecaster with Southwest Louisiana Weather, checking in with you. So, uh, the flip-flop on the GFS continues in full force, and as I suspected last night, it's done what I thought it would do. And while the Euro is steadfast and holding to its guns, uh, saying no to anything frozen uh, this coming weekend or in, or in the early next week, um, I think it's a little bit different with the GFS, and those of you that have been following these uh, video logs, if you will, uh, vlogs, uh, for the last what, four or five days now, you'll know that uh, the GFS will get a couple to several run to runs of consistency and then things start to change and uh, it'll say yay and nay and so we've got that flip-flop uh, effect going on here but truth be told I, I think the GFS is on to something here and the latest run of the GFS is out but I've set this back and that's the 12 Zulu, but I'm going to set this back to the previous run, the 06 Zulu, which would be the midnight run. And I'm going to put this into motion here, and I'm going to leave it on the national map here, uh, just so you can see. And uh, what I will say is it it, it has been consistent, uh, showing a front coming through uh, late week. And then that front lifting back up as a warm front as the next system comes in. And bringing in that abundance of moisture. The issue is the track of this low out here in the plains wh where it goes as it ejects off to the east and northeast. And so let me put this into motion here, and we're going to show you something here. I'm going to slow this down a bit uh, so you don't get too far ahead. Now get your bearings. Here's Louisiana right here, okay? So just bear with it, all right? Let's go. So now we're in the Tuesday. Getting into Wednesday now. And you see this the warm front is completely lifted up uh, here on Thursday. You got a big moisture plume uh, and warm air advection to the north. So uh, let's continue with this now. Now, at this point, you see the front comes back through. Uh, on Thursday and you see it keeps a lot of the wintery mix well to the north of us but now watch what happens you see the trough digging down here uh, really cold air hasn't arrived yet you see the 540 line but there is some, some cold air in place uh, just not at the freeze level just yet. We're in the Friday now. That's big low, upper level low here in the uh, upper Midwest swings down. And then you see this trough just digging down. So did you see that? Those last few runs, this will be sat, uh, Friday night into Saturday uh, as this rolls through. So. Uh, this will be noon on Saturday. We'll punch it up here. It's 3 p.m. on Saturday. And we go to 6 p.m. on Saturday. So you can see that there's a uh, sleet.
freezing mix falling uh, through parts of, of Louisiana and in the, in the Mississippi and with snowfall up here to the north. Um, let's punch that through again. So uh, by 9 p.m., uh, it's basically lifted off uh, out of Louisiana and up in the southern Mississippi here. So uh, we'll punch it forward a few more frames here. You can see it's all gone. We just see the trough digging way down and the high pressure building in and just is surging that cold air to the south, uh, well out into the Gulf. And you can see even out here into the Gulf, wintery mix out there as well, uh, which isn't uncommon. It's rare, but it's uncommon. So we're getting into uh, next week now and the Monday and watch as our next system ro rolls through. This will be a week from today. Now we're getting to Tuesday of next week. So this next system comes barreling through and wintery mix. You see some snowfall here. Uh, in parts of southwest Louisiana up through central Louisiana and northeastern Louisiana and to uh, western Mississippi here. So that was the first sign uh, of the flip-flop. Now, when I posted that notice last night before I went to sleep, uh, the run previous run before this one uh, showed nothing. Uh, so that I'll stand to the north. Now, let us switch over to the current GFS, the 12 Zulu. Uh, and again, we should be getting 18 Zulu, 18 Zulu run. Uh, here shortly later today but uh, we'll see what that says as well and this is just for informational purposes um, and again I'm not taking anything off the board at this point I'm not going to say yay or nay uh, however I'm starting to tend to lean a little towards the, the GFS solution on this and uh, there's a reason for that but uh, I think the euro is, is flat wrong right now uh, but we'll see so now let's start this current run of the GFS and put it into play here so we'll slow this down and give you folks a little leeway in watching this here so now we're in the Wednesday and we see the trough starting to dive down here and start to see the warm air lifting up out of the Gulf and you see the frozen precip wintery mix here uh, up through Arkansas and Oklahoma now continue to watch so we've seen this moisture advection out of the Gulf and uh, interacting with the front which the trough just doesn't have enough punch to get down here we see this little low spinning down here now let's watch this we'll stop it there now we're uh, 18z on Thursday it's noon on Thursday so you got a lot of shower activity out and about now basically that front stalls and then finally starts to move on out on Friday and or does it so we see it sliding off to the east here that's good 
takes a lot of the moisture with it, although there is still some here. Okay, now, <clears throat> oh, I hate when it does that. Now we're on a Saturday. Look what happens on Saturday. You get this little low spin up here in the Gulf, and you start to see some mix here uh, across uh, Upper Acadiana and across the state line here. And this will be uh, Saturday, uh, 6 a.m. Now, let's advance it forward some. This will be 9 a.m. This will be noon. And you can see here in southwest Louisiana, uh, a good bit of wintery mix beginning to fall here. And, and we move through, and we've still got some scattered mix uh, here across most of the state, some pockets of mix. Uh, still not an abundance of moisture just yet. But let's go one more here. And you see what's beginning to set up here. You see this little line. <coughs> you got a convergence. Uh, and you see this little V pocket here. So um, you've got a good bit of moisture build up off the coast. Uh, out to about 150, 200 miles into the Gulf here, and uh, you see Houston area uh, getting the mix and freezing rain. So that would that would be indicative of temperatures at freezing uh, at this point. So we'll take a look at those here in a minute. So let's move this forward now. And as we see, uh, as we get into 03 Zulu on Sunday, which would be uh, 9 p.m. on Saturday, still isn't over. It means cold air is still in place. And see this low starting to ease up and eject off to the uh, northeast here. And that's bringing moisture in from the Gulf and getting on the back side of this thing so let's go forward again now you see this low continuing to track to the northeast and you see the front behind it bringing in the cold air but and the dry air as well but that low is keeping moisture in the place and slinging all that moisture in uh, into that, that colder drier air so uh, this surface low is, is appearing to win the battle uh, between the, the drier air and the moist air uh, interacting with the cold air. Now, let's go forward. So, by 9 Zulu on Sunday, which would be uh, 3 a.m., we're in the pre dawn hours of Sunday. Uh, pretty much all gone and that low continues to eject up off to the uh, northeast there and that brings havoc up to uh, the Ohio River Valley and then on up uh, the east, east coast states then to uh, New York and Pennsylvania beginning to uh, set the stage for nor'easter <coughs> so As you can see, it, it's deepening as as it moves forward in time. So it's strengthening uh, as it moves off to the northeast and off the coast there. Uh, Del Marva here and then New Jersey, and then you got Long Island and New York there. So as you're looking at that, we return back to the local region here. Now we're getting into Monday of next week, week from the day.
it's going to go through real slow. Let's look. And now we're on the Tuesday morning. So at this point, we see some moisture return and we start to see a little bit of mix. Uh, looks like from a Liberty to Baton Rouge to Lafayette line through here down towards Kaplan, Abbeville area. So uh, this would be midnight Monday night into Tuesday morning. And then it keeps anything frozen off the coast pretty much. Uh, step down there maybe uh, around the Port Fouchon area. And it's pretty much gone at this point. So there's still a lot of uncertainty. Nothing is set in stone. However, uh, I am kind of leaning towards the GFS solution at this point. Uh, not going to get into why. But let's just say uh, I think that's how this plays out. So, uh, again, don't take my word 100% for it. That's, uh, you know, your, your official source that you should be going with is the National Weather Service. <clears throat> However, I know that, you know, there's a lot of people who follow me for a very long time. Uh, some of your family are very close friends. And, you know, my history with this stuff. And so... We'll just leave it at that. But I would say prepare for it just in case. Um, still can't rule anything out at this point. I'm not going to rule anything in. But right now, I'm going to say 50 50 odds of seeing frozen precip. Um, We'll take a look at the temperatures with the GFS, and then we'll go to the National Weather Service blend, and we'll give you a look at, at their models there. And um, let's put this into motion here. And again, you can track the time and date up here to the upper left. You see forecast 21 hours out, valid uh, for Tuesday, the date and the Zulu time, which is Greenwich Mean Time, uh, be six hours uh, ahead of us. So whatever this, this Zulu number is, subtract six hours from that, or six from it, and that will give you the local time. So uh, nine, zero 09 Zulu would be zero 03 Zulu, or 3 a.m. So watch the progression of this, and you see we warm way up. Uh, starting tomorrow, and I think that may be overdoing it a tad. Uh, I hadn't looked at our official forecast uh, just yet, so we'll just continue to go through with this, and you see basically everything is, you got a little dip in the trough, but it's basically zonal in nature, and uh, as we get through Wednesday, but it is starting to sh shove south, and as we get into Friday now, you start to see that, that cold air uh, eject south. And as we get into the day uh, on Friday, it lifts north a little bit. <coughs> as we get into Saturday now, you see that push of very cold air, sub-freezing temps uh, drop down. Although teens haven't, haven't gotten in, the, in here just yet, but you see this bitterly cold up in Oklahoma uh, through the up Midwest and uh, 
the mid Mississippi River Valley into the upper Ohio River Valley. These are <laughs> these are projected temps as of uh Saturday uh or correction, Sunday midnight, uh Saturday and the Sunday at midnight. So now we're getting into Sunday morning now. And you see the teens starting to encroach. The white area would be indicative of teens. Your blues would be freezing down into the teens. So you see we've got, you know, a solid freeze, uh, basically maybe including Baton Rouge metro area, but more prevalent here in the, the southwest and western part of the state and on up into the northern part of the state. In Shreveport hovering around 15, 16. Uh, same for uh, Fun Row up there. Uh, Fun Row, Monroe, if you will. So, uh, but I mean, if this if this plays out, I mean, uh, the, these temperatures are just, you know, bitterly cold. Th these this isn't wind chills, folks. This is actual temperatures uh, that the GFS is forecasting. So uh, I mean, negative 23, uh, negative 18, uh, negative six, negative two. Um, zero at Oak City, the negative one at Tulsa, <laughs> uh, Kansas. I mean, you're in the negative digits. Missouri, uh, negative digits. Uh, I mean, it, it's just crazy. Uh, heck, Chicago isn't even as cold as it is over here in the Midwest and upper Midwest. But wait, there's more. So we continue to uh, roll into Sunday morning now, and you see that that bitterly cold air uh, solidly in place. You see Baton Rouge getting into a uh, probe here right at about 25 degrees Sunday morning. So. Uh, yeah, that cold air is in place uh, with the GFS model. And what I don't want to see is these uh, these purples, you know, magenta colors getting down here. But as we get into 6 a.m. Sunday morning, Shreveport, 8 degrees. Jackson, Mississippi at 12. Alexandria, 16. Lake Charles, 20. Uh, Baton Rouge, uh, somewhere around 17 degrees. <coughs> so I can switch over to uh, the uh, regional mode and give you a better look at all the cities. But nevertheless, um, look, folks, uh, the GFS has, has been locked in on this, although it hasn't been. Uh, solidly run the run consistent. It has been run the run consistent for several runs before backing off and then popping off on it again. So, uh, you know, that tells me that, it, that that it's like a bloodhound. It's sniffing this thing out, and uh, I think it's on the right track. Um, we'll see. That's all we can say at this time. But uh, I would be solidly prepared for this. If this were were to actually, you know, verify and play out, so um, we'll go forward now. Uh, you know, 15 Zulu. That's 3 p.m. Uh, be 9 a.m. and then we get into noon, and we'll see. Even New Orleans is at 29. <coughs> so we'll go forward again here. We warm up ever so slightly before we drop and, and plummet again here and now we're at midnight Sunday into Monday and look at that wow and as for your wake up 5 and 3 4 to 11 in Jackson Mississippi 12 in Alec 16 in Lake Charles uh, around 11 degrees in Baton Rouge, uh, New Orleans at 23, uh, somewhere around 21 to 23 degrees, uh, Lafayette, uh, right around 11. So, again, you know, a lot of meteorologists, you know, there's like, they, they get this disbelief 
and say, nah, not going to happen, can't happen, won't happen. But as we're seeing more often than not, that scenario actually plays out, and therein lies the problem, you see. So um, I never say never, period. And, you know, I see Jay and Steve been posting about this over at WFB, and, you know, those guys there, uh, they know their stuff, and uh, they're not infallible, neither am I. So, again, you're looking at just one model. The Euro, I haven't looked at the temperatures, but as far as frozen precip, it says no, continuously. So, um, you know, the truth of the matter is somewhere in between. It's out there. And how's this going to play out? Stay tuned. That's all I can say. Uh, but I have showed you that the majority of the time we've been seeing these temps get down here. And so that gives me pause at the same time, you know, gives me reason to, uh, you know, tell everybody, hey, you know, this is, this is an early heads up that this could be coming. And if it does, it's going to pose some, some serious dangers. Uh, you get bitterly cold temperatures like that. All bets are off with Mother Nature, and, you know, we saw her just, you know, fly off the crack wagon during 2020, and if she's in withdra withdrawals right now, 2021 could be a fun ride as well, so hold on to your hats, folks. This crazy wild ride of, of Mother Nature uh, and her mood swing episodes may still be something to behold as, as she unleashes Mother Nature's fury on us. So, uh, again, <coughs> just uh, for kicks, let's. Let's go over here to uh, the National Weather Service. And it's unfortunate that the GFS 16 is is, is down. Uh, that really irks me. Um, and such should get off their tails and get this thing rolling here. So now we're going to look at the National Weather Service blend of models and let's let's roll that beautiful weather for the footage, Joe. I almost said roll that beautiful bean footage, Joe. So you know where I went with that. So as we're pushing out into the weekend, this only goes out to 240 hours, just like the uh, Euro. But you see the warm air uh, advancing north out of the Gulf. And then, boom, it just pops out and then goes back in, pops out. So... You know, now we're getting into the weekend time frame of things here, and we're in a Saturday now, and so now we're getting into the pre-dawn of Sunday. So here we go. You know, now we're seeing some some mid to low twenties. Uh, this would be your wake up Sunday morning, 31 in Lake Charles, uh, around 30 in Baton Rouge. Uh, 29 in Lafayette so we go out throughout the day it warms up a tad and as we get into Monday morning another freeze on tap Monday afternoon things warm up we get into Tuesday and things not as cold so National Weather Service 
their models aren't as extreme in all of this. So, you know, where's the truth in all this? Um, you know, I suspect, you know, it, it's going to be somewhere in the vicinity. It's going to be in the neighborhood. Cold air is coming regardless, okay? <laughs> we can expect several couple several days of, of freezes, maybe hard freezes, maybe bitterly hard freezes. So, um, as far as any precip, um, not seeing it at, at this stage. Uh, let's look at the time frame here, and we'll just see what uh. So don't actually show future radar, but on the National Weather Service blend of models, we see t total accumulated ice through here. Uh, eight one hundredths of an inch uh, Baton Rouge, about around three one hundredths to uh, six one hundredths, and then you know close to a tenth here in Southwest Louisiana. So, and as far as snowfall take a look at snowfall so we could still have an ice event folks um, the snowfall their models looks like a little bit of a dusting here in southwest Louisiana nothing for southeast Louisiana so and this could be indicative of you know wintering mix you know what would uh, something falling on top of that uh, Houston probably a dusting over in Katy maybe close to an inch of accumulation so uh, you know we're still too far out with say with any certainty so um, again continue to watch you know your daily forecast uh, I'll do these daily uh, video briefings and we'll see what we see moving forward now as we get uh, Within 60 hours of this time frame, that's when the short to medium range NAM 3 kilometer model comes into play. And that may tell the tale uh, of how this is going to play out. So, um, right now, too much uncertainty. However, I am leaning a little more towards the GFS, not so much on, on the bitterly cold temperatures, but still cold nevertheless. Uh, I'm not going to take out any kind of frozen precip out of the forecast as of yet. Uh, I'm not going to say 100% certainty, yay or nay on that. Just, uh, I'm not taking anything on or off the table. It's going to sit where it's at for right now, uh, given the amount of uncertainty. And uh, with that, I'm just going to move forward and, and see what happens and how this plays out. So uh, for now, it's going to seem like a broken record, just repetitive in nature. Uh, until we get a solid handle on things and see what what's actually going to, you know, be close to transpiring. So with that, that's going to uh, conclude it for today's uh, video log weather briefing. And uh, be sure to smash that thumbs up, like button, hit the subscribe button here on YouTube, uh, and share. It doesn't hurt to share. Uh, YouTube's algorithms, I, I can't get things to work on rumble so uh stuck on youtube so it is what it is folks um <clears throat> big tech sucks but gotta have it so with that have a good monday and we'll talk to you again tomorrow and i'll post a uh another update uh tonight once the next runs uh, of the year on the gfs come out and uh, we'll see what they say. So have a good Monday afternoon, folks, and we'll talk to you again later. Thanks for watching. See you.